Today I'm going to show you how you can improve your landscape photography with these five easy steps. Landscape photography can be very rewarding, but sometimes it can go a little wrong for photographers. By using these five steps, it dramatically improved my landscape photography. The location recce is invaluable for helping you achieve a better shot and it saves you a ton of valuable time when it comes to the actual day or night you're shooting on. You're able to work out angles, potential compositions, and if you're doing astrophotography, it helps you work out where the stars or the Milky Way will be positioned in the sky. Plus, you'll get a better understanding of your surroundings so you don't really fumble around in the dark. Having an idea of exactly where the sun will rise or set, or finding potential lead-in lines for a shot, makes for a much more enjoyable time out with your camera. Even when I'm traveling, I would book into my Acom first, then go to where I'd like to take photos and just suss things out and see what's going on. Learning new post-processing techniques through free YouTube tutorials will certainly help improve your landscape shots. From simple things like adjusting color balance and exposure to more advanced techniques like masking and blending, you can dramatically change your photography for the better. And creatively speaking, you can achieve the look you want. There is so much to learn in post-processing and it can be quite daunting. The best way is just to start off simple. Set yourself a limit of just learning one new technique per day or even week. And then as time goes on, you'll have learnt a range of skills that will only benefit your landscape photography. When people think of landscape photography, they automatically think of wide sweeping plains or grand mountainous vistas. Sometimes it's to your advantage to carry a telephoto lens because you can zero in on particular sections of the landscape where beams of sunlight are hitting, cloud is forming, or a specific pattern in the landscape might be standing out. When traveling overseas, I always carry a telephoto lens for landscape photography because you just never know when you might need it. Photography apps like PhotoPills and Meteo Earth can take the guesswork out of landscape photography. PhotoPills has this fantastic augmented reality feature where it gives you the information you need regarding where the sun will rise or set and where the Milky Way will be at a certain time. I use these photography apps all the time when planning my landscape photography outings, plus for my trips around the world, so I can plan shoots even before I get there. Filters can help you achieve different looks and allow you to be more creative with your images. A polarizing filter can help you cut through glare on water or mountains and give you a deeper blue sky. ND filters help with things like long exposures and graduated filters can help balance your images when the sky is too bright compared to your foreground or vice versa. Adding filters to your landscape photography can not only improve your shots, it opens up a whole new world of creativity. Well, I hope these tips have helped you out. But at the end of the day, if you really do want to improve your landscape photography skills, you need to grab your camera, get out there in all types of conditions and just practice as much as you can. The thing I love about landscape photography is that no two days are ever the same. It's always throwing new challenges at me. Thanks so much for watching. Never stop creating and I'll see you next time.